hello my dear friends welcome to our youtube channel pharma job alert dot in in this video we are going to know about quality control department in pharmaceutical industry friends quality control department plays an important role in pharmaceutical industry because uh, no product can be released into the market without having a proper uh, quality control test because the product has to meet the specifications which are set forth by the pharmaceutical companies as well as by the regulatory authorities so the quality of the product is important because it it, it will affect the patient's uh, acceptance of the medication once it is released into the market as well as the raw material acceptance by the companies so let us see the important contents that we are going to discuss in this video the basic functions of the quality control department as well as the quality control process and types and the educational qualification which is required in order to work in quality control department and the skill set you need to have and the type of instruments used in the QC laboratory as well as the key sections which we will discuss in detail and also the in incoming quality control process. So friends let us see the basic functions of a quality control department. These include sampling of raw materials as well as finished products and in process uh, materials as well as analysis of those uh, sampled materials as well as release or rejection of the materials. So friends there are three types of process in quality control. These include incoming quality control for raw materials, packaging materials and uh, in process quality control in that means in process quality control of the manufacturing materials as well as outgoing quality control of the finished products or the final products friends incoming quality control will test the materials which the company buys from the suppliers which include raw materials as well as packaging materials whereas in process quality control is a check process whether the product is meet going to meet the specifications and the outcoming i mean outgoing quality control it will check whether the finished product meet the required standards or specifications set by the regulatory authorities Friends, let us see the qualification in order to work in quality control department. So you must have a bachelor's degree in science or master's degree in science and that is chemistry, microbiology, organic chemistry, etc. Or you can be a B farm graduate or M farm graduate, post graduate. So these are the qualifications which are required in order to work in industry. In addition to the qualification, you need to have some certain skills uh, that will be helpful in, uh, I mean, growing in the quality control department. These skill sets will be discussed in the next slide so let us see those skill set these include you must have good analytical skills and it means sample preparation and preparation of different kind of solutions for testing so sample preparation sample collection is important and the another important step is sample preparation in order to test that sample and also you must have a good knowledge of handling of instruments like uh, HPLC, GC, Carl Fisher titration, pH meter, weighing balance and able to follow the standard operating procedures as well as standard testing procedure and must be able to work with a team and also you must be responsible for everything you do in the laboratory. So let us see the some instruments used in quality control department. These include gas chromatography, HPLC, pH meter, HPTLC, uh, measuring balance, I mean since two balances etc these are some instruments i will discuss the complete instruments in the coming videos so let us see the key sections in quality control department these include raw material section packaging material section in process or finished product section stability section and glp section glp means glp means good laboratory practice section and investigation and microbiological section Friends, the, let us uh, discuss about the raw material section. It includes three components, sampling of raw materials once they come to the industry and testing of the raw materials and release of the raw materials if they meet the specifications and if they haven't meet the specification, they will be sent back. So we will discuss in detail about this raw material section in the end of the video. And the next thing is packaging material section which follows the same process as that of raw material sections. If they meet the specifications, they are released uh, for packaging and if not the, meet the specification, they are rejected. Coming to the next thing is in process or finished product section and in this uh, also sampling of materials is done during in process by IPQA or uh, finished product section after the product is finished random samples were taken from uh, one batch and they are tested and uh, the results were interpreted if they meet the specification the batch can be released into the market if not uh, they will be sent back to the I mean left in the warehouse and a proper investigation will be done why the results are not properly I mean why we didn't get the proper results or why the product didn't meet the specifications so next thing is stability section 
in stability sections the samples were put in the stability chamber and they are monitored and the results were interpreted and the next thing is glp good laboratory practice section so this section include training of the personnels involved in the testing of the materials in quality control department and maintaining the inventory of reagents various types of glassware etc which is required for the uh, proper functioning of the quality control department as well as the method validations as well as method transfer whenever the new method is developed so quality control plays an important role in method transfer as well as the calibration of the instruments and whether the instruments are working properly or not and these will be looked after in the glp section and the next thing is investigation whenever we get a out of specification results and an investigation should be done and the final thing is microbiological section in which testing of raw materials finished products as well as in process materials were done so let us see the uh, incoming quality control process so whenever uh, a material is supplied by the supplier so the raw materials are supplied by the supplier and the industry receives the materials after receiving the material the industry will uh, inspect the material quality inspection as well as quantity check so whether they send the proper quantity or not whether the provided the quality material or not in the quality inspection as well as quantity check if they haven't meet the specifications so the material will be sent back to the supplier so if they meet the specification money will be transferred to the supplier thank you for watching see you in the next video with more information related to QC department.